Hi Floss Tube friends, it's Liliana. Welcome back to my channel. I have something different that I'm stitching on today with you guys. Um, on this Stitch With Me, I chose one of my whips and this is um, called the it's called perfect gift and I will put a f I did I think I put a photo at, I'll put a photo at the beginning of the video um, show you what the finished um, project looks like and it is called perfect gift it's a hundred and four stitches in width by a hundred and 40 stitches in height. Um, the project size is 7.4 by 10 and this is uh, on white Ada 14 count. So I bought this kit off Amazon and um, I've been working on it for off and on a few for a few weeks now. Between this and um, and the stamped <clears throat> project that I've been working on. It is by um, Diane Authors, is the designer. I was looking at some of her other designs <clears throat> and um, she's got some really beautiful, just gorgeous designs out there. And uh, so I started a wish list with her uh, counted cross stitch. And I caved in <laughs> and I wasn't gonna buy any more. I was gonna wait at least until I get one of these finished, but no. I, I couldn't help myself, so I bought another one of her designs. And the one that I bought is called, um, it's called Gather and Give Thanks. And I will see if I can, um, I'll put a photo of it here somewhere on the screen and share that with you. I found it on uh, imaginating.com. It, um, it comes in a kit or leaflet. So uh, kits are just much easier. I don't, uh, I don't have to go shopping for the floss or the fabric. Um, eventually, I will do that. I have, actually, as a matter of fact. Um, I did do that for a project that I have um, from a book that I bought that I ordered not too long ago. And um, and I chose one of the patterns in the book and I went and uh, shopped for the floss and for the cloth. I have not started that yet. I wanted to finish this one that I'm working on right now 
for my granddaughter. Um, I'm going to finish this one first. And then I, I might start it. I would like to at least start it. And uh, it would be added to my whip list. So getting back to the gather and give thanks um, pattern, I, I did say I found it on imaginating.com, right? I think I said that. And the st stitch count on that one is 114 stitches in width by 86 stitches in height. It is a full and there's back stitching as well. So full stitch and back stitching. The project size is uh, eight by six. The floss, um, the DMC colors is uh, 14. So it comes with 14 DMC colors. The fabric is um, 14 count oatmeal light fiddler's cloth. That will be new for me. I've only cross stitched on white Ada. So uh, oatmeal light fiddler's cloth. I'll have to look that up to see what color it is. Well, if I go by what the picture um, here up on the screen. I think it'll be a pretty color. So I started a wish list too, by the way. <laughs> I mean, she has so many, so many designs that um, caught my eye, and it was really, actually, it was really hard to choose one, um, but I did, and that's the one that I chose to gather and give thanks, but she did have some other ones also that I want to get. Uh, another is uh, Family Blessing. I'll also put that here on the screen, a photo. Uh, and it came either as a kit or a leaflet. And um, I will probably get the kit. And the stitch count is 104 stitches in width by 140 in height. And the project size is uh, 7.4 by 10. And the floss um, comes with 18 DMC colors. And the fabric is a 14 count natural Ada. So that's one other that I've got on my wish list and um, the other um, is uh, dream dream direction and also comes as a kit or leaflet I've got it all written down because I definitely, I don't want to forget about these. I want to order them. If not now, soon. Or, or in the near future. <laughs> and it's, um, the stitch count is 70 in width by 140, 141 in height. And the project size is uh, 5 by 10. And it's on a 14 count Ada in natural. 
So natural probably means like what? Off off white or a cream kind of color. Hmm. So I thought that one was really pretty. And then the next one I have on my list is uh, Harvest Blessings. That one, uh, you have an option of a kit or a leaflet. And uh, this, the stitch count on that is uh, 163 in width by 81 in height. And the project size is uh, 11.6 by 5.8. It is on a 14 count light fiddler. And it sadly, it did say currently unavailable. So I will have to check back on that one at a later date, but it is on my wish list for sure. And another cute one is, uh, is called Harvest Jar Wrapper. And this one is um, a leaflet only. So, I don't know. I may or may not get it. Not sure yet. The stitch count is 174 stitches in width by 56 stitches in height. And then uh, and then my another that I have on, on the list is Harvest Light is what it's called, Harvest Light. And it's 104 um, stitches in width by 130 stitches in height. And the project size of this one is, it's um, 7.4 by 9.3. And it comes with 18 DMC floss colors on 14 count natural Ada. And so another that I thought was uh, cute. It's not a favorite favorite of mine, but I think it would be fun, kind of fun to stitch. It's uh, called Beach Babe, and uh, it comes in a leaflet or a kit, and the stitch count is 87 stitches in width by 119 stitches in height. And the project size for this one is 6.2 by 8.5 on 14 count white Ada. And sadly, it's unavailable right now. So that would be another to check up on if you guys are interested in it. Or maybe you might find it somewhere else. So I'm looking at the stroller uh, on the chart and and on the photo and it just um, it looks a tiny bit smaller than what I prefer. Let's see, am I in the right spot? Yes, yes. Okay, sorry about that. I've uh, I don't want to mess up on my counting. Um, I was saying uh, the stroller just looks a little bit too small compared to the um, bear on the other side, on the other end. 
So I'm thinking I might try and make it a little larger. Um, maybe I'll extend the top a part of it. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. I would just like to make it slightly larger than what's on the uh, photo. Have you guys ever done that? You know, just change uh, change something about the pattern. Either uh, make it larger, make it smaller, change the color of the thread, or um, yeah, uh, anything. Have you ch have you guys ever done that? Do you guys do that often? Uh, when I crochet, I um, I do do that sometimes. When I crochet, I used to do that all the time. I would change something about it, um, and I'm not talking just the color where, you know, it, the actual uh, stitching. So I might give it a different border, or something like that. You can omit or add anything you want. However you want your project to look like, which is uh, something I like about cross stitching, as I do with uh, crocheting, is you can change it up. You can add anything to it, really, um, and you can change up the size, make it larger, make it smaller, um, add words to it, well, with cross stitch. With uh, crocheting, it's uh, change up the stitches, um, make it smaller, make it larger, change the color, uh, change, yeah, it's just whatever you fancy, you know, however you want the outcome to be. You're the uh, ultimate designer. <laughs> so um, you can make your project come out however way you want it. I'm grabbing another uh, strand here. And uh, I love using the loop method. It, uh, it's definitely my preferred way of uh, starting a stitch. I used to start behind the project. I would start with hiding the tail in the back underneath uh, the uh, established uh, stitches. But this is so much easier. You just uh, put your needle through the loop and, and then you just start stitching. So, so easy. I like uh, working on 14 count Ada cloth. I uh, have not stitched on smaller than this, 
Um, but I am planning on it. <laughs> I do have a, uh, a project that I kitted myself, bought the floss, bought the cloth, and, uh, and it's on a 28 count cloth. So I'm, uh, I'm excited to try it, but at the same time a little nervous. I hope that it's easy. Um, gosh, I've heard of you guys stitching on 40 count. I can't even imagine doing that. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to try it, and I'm going to and I'm going to start slow. So I'm going to start with um, with a 28 count and then go from there and see how that see how that works and how I like it. If it happens to be too small and unenjoyable to stitch on, then I'll go back to 14 count. But I'll definitely try it for sure. And I like the look of um uh, of stitches done on a on smaller count cloth. I think it's beautiful and um yeah, so I'm definitely going to try it. I have my magnifying glass. So, uh if I have to get a stronger magnifying glass, then I'll probably do that. But uh I won't give up too easily. I'll uh, definitely try it. Another thing I'd like to try is working on black Ada cloth. I've seen designs <clears throat> on uh, on black cloth that are just beautiful. It just makes the color pop. And um and I definitely would like to try that. And there's a lot of uh Halloween designs that I'd like to try. I'm not into the scary Hall Halloween designs, but there's some I've found some cute Halloween designs that I definitely want to um to get and to and to make. So I can also stitch on gray if black doesn't work out for me. But uh, we'll see. We shall see. Looking at my chart, I have a chart uh, on my iPad that I'm looking at every once in a while I look and count my stitches. So I'm starting here on the first wheel of the uh, stroller. So what I do is I, um, I just use the uh, photo features that, you know, come with my iPad or iPhone and, um, and I use markup. So I will take a photo of the chart and then I'll go into photos and then I'll go into markup and um, and use that to mark my stitches. I'll show you here in the end. So what I'm doing here is just going to use the um, loop method again. I love using this method, it's so easy. Um, let me see, where do I? looking for the spot where I will put my next, the first stitch of the second wheel. As I was saying, um, this loop method is so simple and easy. It's um, definitely um, my preferred way to start a stitch.
I actually didn't think I was uh, going to be able to stitch much today. Um, pg and &E was actually s scheduled to turn off the power today, but um, they haven't. I think they're probably going to reschedule again because of the rain. So I do have power and I can use my magnifying glass with a light. I can use it without light as long as there's um, enough light coming through my window, but uh, on a dark day, rainy day, not much light is coming through. So I actually didn't think I was going to, um, to stitch today, but since they canceled the, uh, the work, um, I do have power. Okay, so here is um, how I track my stitches. I choose a section and I use a highlighter. And so I highlight uh, the stitches that I've just completed. And when I'm finished with that section, I just erase it and start another section. And that's how I do it and it works for me. I want to thank you guys for sticking to the end. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will hopefully see you in the next Stitch With Me.